guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my whole February TBR. Now, spoiler alert, I didn't have a success I didn't have a successful month in January. I only read one yeah, I only read one out of the six that I picked. I did start the sec was it the sec yeah, I started the second one. Like, I started a second one out of the books that I'd picked. I just haven't finished it. Anyway, I have gone through and updated the books on here. So, fresh and updated. All the ebooks have been took out. So, because we're getting through our physical TBR, saying that I bought a couple more books the other day. Basically, I have around 135 sometimes I've included the next in the series in here sometimes I haven't it really was just up to what I was feeling um, and whether I wanted to be more likely to have to read a book or not um, let's shake this up just for any impartiality not that there is really any um, but yeah, and that's, I'm going to pick out six. Now, I know I didn't get through the six on there, but it gives me options. So yeah. Ooh, first book is Assistant to the Villain. I will get all the books out in a second to show you. I, re I reorganised my bookshelf, granted I've still got books surrounding me that you cannot see, um, but those ones will go on like my desk and whatnot. Um, but at least for the ones that I really am excited for, I'm able to find them a little bit easier. Okay, we have Rattle. We had this in a previous TBR, I didn't get to it at all. Um, about a couple years back I started it, I got like 70 pages in or something along those lines. Um, yeah. Oh, we have a new book that I have not mentioned before and it is Many Rivers to Cross. Okay, we have Wuthering Heights. That's what, four that's picked out. Two more. We have one that's kind of clutched here. Oh, we've got a book called The Most Fun We Ever Had, which is quite literally in my eyesight on my floor. So that's what, five. And our final one is This was literally last month. I'm gonna pick another one. Just, that was last month. That was like in last month and I kind of want something a little bit different. So I had a couple video ideas um, of like what I wanted to film this month. Um, this one kind of solidifies it. We have House of Earth and Blood, which is the first in the Crescent City series. Um, so yeah, let me go grab those books and um, yeah. Okay, so Wrestle by Fiona Cummins is, he leads an extraordinary life some of the time. He has a past which explains his behavior. Most of the time, he's a hobby too terrible to understand all of the time. Essa is a detective who suspects him. Erdman and Lilith are parents who fear him and Jakey and Clara have something he craves. The Collector has come to rattle their bones and he won't stop until he's caught. In this deadly game, only one thing is certain. Finders, keepers, losers, grievers. Um, yeah, it was on a previous month's TBR and I just didn't end up getting to it because it didn't interest me that month. I'd say there's a chance that I wouldn't, I won't get to it this month either. Um, then I have The Most Fun We Ever Had by 
Claire Lombardo. I picked this up from Sixty Six Books. Also, this has been on my shelf for years. Um, and it says, Meet the Sorensen family. Marilyn has somehow fallen into motherhood and spent four decades married to David, who's pretty certain he loves her more than anyone has ever loved another person. Wendy, their eldest, a cause for concern, soothes herself with drink after being widowed young, while Violet is disturbed by the reappearance of a son placed for adoption 15 years earlier. Liza, a professor, is pregnant with a baby she's not sure she wants by a man she's not sure she loves, and Grace, their dawdling youngest daughter, lives a lie that no one in her family suspects. Um, yeah. I have no clue what this is about. It just sounded interesting. Yeah, I have no clue really what it's fully about. Then, Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayra. And it says, With her ailing father and youngest sister to support, sister to support Evie Sage's employment status isn't just important, it's vital. So when a mishap with a with Renadorn's most infamous villain results in a job offer, naturally she says yes. No job is perfect, of course, but even less so when you develop a teeny crush on your terrifying, temperamental and undeniably hot boss. Don't find evil so attractive, Evie. But just when she's getting used to severed heads suspended from the ceiling and the odd squish of an errant eyeball beneath her heel, Evie suspects this dungeon has a huge rat, and not just the literal kind, because something rotten is growing in the kingdom of Renadorn, and someone wants to take the villain and his entire nefarious empire out. Now, now Evie must not only resist drooling over her boss, but also figure out exactly who is sabotaging his work, and ensure he makes them pay. After all, a good job is hard to find. Um, I picked this up from Asda and but I'd seen it on Facebook first and it just sounded interesting so I am excited to get to this one this month. Then I have Wuthering Heights. I have no, oh, I have no clue what it's about at all in the slightest. Um, but this is by Emily Bronte. Um, and it's, it's short. Um, like it's under 300 pages. So actually, this will be like a nice one to read. I will say before I get onto the next two, there is a book that I'm planning on reading this month just because it's February um, and I enjoy reading this author for like the romance aspect of things. Granted, I think this romance from her is a little different, but then I have Many Rivers to Cross by Peter Robinson. I literally picked this up the other week um, for 175 from Tesco. And it says, a skinny young lad is found dead, his body carelessly stuffed in a wheelie bin. Detective Superintendent Alan Banks and his team are called to investigate. Who was the boy? Where did he come from? Was he discarded as rubbish or left as a warning to someone? As the local press sees upon an illegal immigrant angle and the national media on the story of yet another knife crime, the police are called to investigate a less newsworthy death. A middle-aged addict found dead on another estate. Banks finds the threads of each case seem to weave into one another and to the dark side of organised crime in East Vale. Does another thread link to his friend Zelda, who is facing her own dark side? The truth be my, the truth may be more complex or much simpler than it seems. I just thought this sounded interesting. It's a thriller. Um, and then House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I literally the only Sarah J Mass book I have read is Throne of Glass um and I read that a decade ago um so yeah this is a chunky book at like 800 pages 799 pages for my particular edition um obviously the third book titled House of Flame and Shadow has just come out literally the end of January um and I was kind of half wanting to get to this book this month so I'm excited that this was the one that I picked out for anyone curious the book that I picked out where it was in last month's TBR was The Bones of Avignon 
um, I can't remember the author. And I just, it was like, I didn't see myself reading that book this month at all. So I wanted to pick another one. Obviously, if I'd have picked out one, like there was the odd book from last month's TBR where if I'd have picked it out, I'd have been fine. But that book, I was just like, mm, I don't feel like this is the vibe for this month. So yeah, that is the sixth and final book that I've picked up out of my TBR jar. Potential that I might only read one of these or like two of these. But because there's another book that I plan on reading, I just kind of, this gives me a nice range of books to pick from. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what books you plan to read this month or like any books that are kind of standing out to you that you might pick up this month. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.